back to another episode of the Stomping Grounds. So today I'm going to be doing a gear review. It's the uh, Killer Instinct 415. Um, basically, I picked this bow up last winter, and I'm going to be taking a uh, youth hunter out this fall. So I wanted to get him a bow uh, to use. And uh, I saw this Killer Instinct 415. It's called a burner. Uh, at Rule King, and you probably buy it at most box stores. Uh, they have, you know, a different, a couple different kinds of the Killer Instinct models. But uh, I read some reviews, and uh, they have a pretty good track record. So I went ahead and picked one up. Uh, it's the first crossbow I've ever owned. I always shoot compounds, but I wanted to get one not only for the youth hunter I'm going to be taking out this year, but we also have, you know, a big box blind that's uh, pretty concealed out here at the farm but uh, you know when you're in there shooting um, either mid to late season it's cold out you know I have uh, one crossbow or actually a compound style window um, in the center of each side but uh, you know the, the, the angles don't always allow for the best shot trajectory so uh, I picked up a crossbow so that I can actually hunt out of that you know when it gets a little really cold this winter uh, December time frame so I'll probably use this, you know, a couple times this year for sure. Uh, I do like the performance specs of this crossbow. Uh, you know, a lot of people hype up the speed of crossbows. And I think it has a lot to do with the actual bolts that they do those performance tests with. So the bolts that it actually comes with are Killer Instinct's Hyper 20-inch bolts. And uh, these are 290 grains. So they're pretty lightweight bolts as far as that's concerned. And a lot of people will shoot these over and over, and then eventually your limbs are probably going to break on your crossbow because you're shooting too light of a bolt. So I did pick up some Carbon Express pile drivers. These are actually 342 grains, and uh, I am going to be shooting 125 grain inserts along with my broadheads, which are also uh, muzzy 125 grain um, broadheads. So I also have a couple other different bolts that I picked up uh, to try out with this crossbow and another crossbow that my brother's going to be shooting. These are Victory X bolts and they're also 20 inches. These are 350 grains without any field tips or broadheads. So, uh, you know, by the time you add 125 grain broadhead, you're looking at 475 grains. Uh, you know with your bolt so getting close to that 500 grain range is pretty crucial especially if you're trying to extend the life of your limbs on your crossbow so i'll probably order some uh, 100 grain inserts just to kind of get it over that that 500 grain range uh, especially if if i want to you know shoot this thing more than probably a season um, i've seen a lot of people complain about you know a lot of these uh, different types of crossbows that are out right now you know they shoot fast but after you know a season of shooting them or maybe even before the end of the season the limbs break on them so you know i just want to point out the, either the actual bolts that they give you are probably way too light so i would definitely you know shop around see what kind of bolts are out there think about putting some inserts in shooting a heavier broadhead um, whether you're shooting a fixed blade or a mechanical these uh, muzzies are actually a little bit of both. They have both a fixed blade and a mechanical. So that's what I'm going to be trying out this year. Um, so just to talk a little bit about the bow. It's uh, super lightweight. I really like that about it. It also has a collapsible buttstock. And uh, that's a pretty nice feature. It does have a camo pattern, which uh, is better than the other Killer Instinct bows I've had. I've seen some... Um, digital camo and I really hate that pattern you know being in the military I think everybody that wore that uniform hated that pattern so I do like you know the real tree edge pattern that it comes with on this bow super lightweight on the upper receiver you've got this uh, foregrip that you can use and uh, it's also you know could be a carrying handle which is pretty nice and uh, all in all I really like it compared to some other crossbows that I've seen Especially for the price, um, I believe I paid right around 350 for this bow. Uh, it could have been a little cheaper. I can't remember. It's been 
back in December when I actually picked this up. So, you know, it's pretty reasonable as far as the price is concerned. You know, it's not like a $2,000 Raven um, or even some of those other really high priced crossbows. And, uh, you know, you're getting in that speed performance range and accuracy as well out of uh, a $350 crossbow. You really can't complain. So we're going to go ahead and set up the target. I'm going to sight this in and uh, we're going to see how the, um, the actual scope that they give you on this performs and just see how it groups. And I'm going to try to group and zero this bow today so that I actually can get out here and shoot it uh, in October time frame when bow season rolls around. So stay tuned for that. We'll get the target set up and uh, go ahead and fire a few bolts down range. Pretty close. Yeah, it's not straight out of the box. It's like almost dead on. I may have pulled it a little bit. That's not bad. Like an inch left and three inches high. Shoot another one and see what it looks like. That was quiet. Yeah, it was. Real quiet. Hitting the target was louder than the bow. Yep. How much did you pay for that? Three, three fifty or so. Just the ergonomics alone on it make it worth that. Yeah. It's a lot smaller, lighter, more compact. Oh yeah. And adjustable foot stock. Let's try that again. Got an ambidextrous safety, which is nice. And look, the actual scope that it comes with is really not that bad. It's got a blue and a red filter on the crosshairs. I'm using the red right now. It's pretty nice. Dude, same spot. Same spot. <laughs> it just needs moved like down maybe a couple inches down to the right a little bit. We'll be on. Straight out of the box, I really can't complain about that. It is super quiet, super lightweight. Uh, the scope is actually really, really nice for as cheap as the bow is. Um, I have no complaints. Shoot a few more times and we'll be we'll be zeroed. So ready to hunt. Can't complain about that. I actually was shooting these power drivers, and uh, they shoot really well as well. We might. A few more times with uh, these uh, victory exports, see how they do. But other than that, I mean, I'm really liking this crossbow so far. I've shot a few over the years, but uh, for the price, you really can't can't beat this bow. Jared's changing batteries in the camera. I'm going to adjust his scope a little bit. Shooting high to the right, so move it low and to the left. Sorry, sorry it's shooting to the, to the left, so we'll move it right. That's a bullseye, was it? Shoot one more. You feel like Robin Hood one. 
Go for it. So that was third shot after one adjustment. Already hitting the bullseye at 20 yards. You really can't complain about that accuracy. We'll shoot one more just to verify. And then yeah. we'll be ready to hunt. Hey, there's a... There's a what? That's why it's so easier for you. You're what? taller cheating. What do you mean? You're using like half the rope. It's supposed to go in that notch. Oh, is that where you put it? I'll put it on the butt stock. Yeah. That's no. why it's so much longer for me. <laughs> Screw the notch. I just go with the old butt stock method. missing all the pain and suffering of shooting two arrows that don't even hit the target. <laughs> oh, no. You're supposed to lose an arrow and then move up another 20 feet. So that's the end of that review. That was pretty quick. I know it's getting a little dark. Apologize for that if uh, the footage isn't that great, but uh, we just put two arrows in the bullseye at 20 yards after one adjustment straight out of the box so you can't beat that that's uh 10 ringed it um already ready to hunt for october so that was quick 10 minutes set up and ready to go after shooting it four times so that's my review on the killer instinct burner 415 great bow can't complain about anything